everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna take a look at the African Leopard Mud, which is a mud brought to us by Havok, <laughs> Haruka, Ikinois, and Gabby. I think I pronounced it better this time. Again, we have four Leopard Muds overall and the this trio made uh, three of them and ha Havoc and Gaboy also made the fourth but with Mega Gaming Rex. I do however, as, uh, I looked it up and the African Leopard is the oldest of these Leopard mods, therefore the first one they made um, overall. Uh, but it's the African Leopard and as you see here on the picture below me, it's a leopard. I couldn't really find any char characteristic uh, that jumped out to me. I think actually that might have something to do with the fact that I'm Danish. Because as I found out uh, doing my entire plant suit journey is I know nothing about Asian animals. And the other leopards here were, were from Asia. This one is from Africa. And a big part of a lot of uh, Danish and European zoos is African animals. And I think it's because it's the closest really exotic area we have. Uh, so m many of our animals come from there. So I think it's because this is what I have seen growing up when I visited zoos. So therefore I have a hard time actually pinpointing something. I think it has like a medium size snout i think it have like a medium color it's not that orange it's not a pale yellow it's kind of in the middle of all of this and that's really all i have to say here but jumping over here it is our last leopard so it's time for our roundup and just to pinpoint here we have the Sorry, here we have the Amur Leopard, the one from the game, which you know and love. Just to remind you, then we have the Jaguar, I think it's... Where's my Jaguar? <laughs> the last one I clicked on here, which actually appears smaller than some of the Leopards. The Amur Leopard also seems way smaller than the others. Uh, the Jaguar isn't really a leopard, but I put it in here because I think uh, the other leopards are made on the rig of the Jaguar, so it has the Jaguar animation and the base built. Um, then we have over here this very orange one, which is the Indian one. It has a smaller snout and a round, more rounded face. Not, not as round as the Amul Leopard, but we are in the same neighborhood. And then we have the um, Persian one who have a bigger build. It looks more muscular. It also seems more fat. <laughs> um, and all parts of it is just more bulky. And then we have over here our Sri Lanka. Uh, leopard which have this more elongated face the um, Persian one also have the elongated face but this wall will seem more slender and have more white parts than any of the others this also tend to be more of a orangey color uh, it, the deep orange is only only the more but this yellowish orange or the Sri Lanka and the Indian then we have this pale brownish yellow which is the Persian and our leopard today which have this middle it's not really yellow and it's not really brown it's some I would say it's a lion color it have on the most of the body and then it's lighter on the belly as the others and it have this very round face but still very elongated 
as you can see here, the cheekbone goes in here, so it could very well have been a rounded face, but because of the way the snout is formed, it becomes much more elongated. So the color wise, we are all in the more discreet, not as uh, vivid colors, but uh, shape wise, it is more of this uh, roundness and it's not a bulky one, it's also seem like um, it have, um, what's it called, under the rib case where people who have an hourglass shape is go inwards, the body. It, it kind of have that, which I don't really think, yeah, the Indian one also have, but besides that, all of the others are more a straight line. So it's a bit different that way. Uh, but let's jump into Superior again. It is the African one we are looking at today. I just like when we have multiple animals in the same family to have a final video where I put them side by side because I know going forward and backward through all of these videos can be a hassle. But it is African Leopard. It is near threatened and there are 700,000 of them lived in the wild. I will say though, the other ones have like a thousand, thirteen hundred, seven hundred um, left in the wild. So there are kind of a lot of these compared with the others living in Africa. Okay, I'm gonna try my very best. You know I'm gonna suck at this, but I'm gonna try. Senegal, Guinea. Bissau, Guinea, Libra, Ivory, Ivory Coast, I think it's called Burkina Faso, Ghana, Benin, Nigeria, Cameroon, Cameroon, Chad, Central African Republic, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Sudan, Eritrea, Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique, Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Nambia, Angola, Botswana, and South Africa. Just a second. Okay, sorry, I had a cat here who wanted attention, so uh, he gonna join us for the rest of this video, apparently. Uh, they live in tropical grassland and desert biome. Uh, one of them needs 668 square kilometers, square meters, sorry. And it's exactly the same as the rest of these. Uh, and 90 square meters of climbing area. The other ones either don't need it or need 80. Um, they live from 8 to 40. <laughs> 42 degrees Celsius and you need a great three fence climb proof uh, and 10 feet tall that just over three meters um, Either one male and one female or one of each um, <laughs> No dominance and they are pro Muscovis they are shine and kiss should not into their habitat. Um, males grows to 27 inch at the shoulder and females 25.2 again at the shoulder. That's roughly the same as the rest of them, I think. Uh, 25 times two and a half. It's... 50 plus 12 yeah it's the same it's 60 65 70 something around there Misha? okay he's done he don't want it anymore um oh, so sorry um um they live for around 23 years and um, they weigh around 130 pounds the males which is 65 kilos and 
88 pounds the females 44 kilos so they are kind of in the heavier lane of leopards uh, live for, uh, sorry not live for three years uh, sexual maturity at three years and they can reproduce until they die they will give between one and four offspring every 20 or fourth months every single year uh, pregnant for three months and they should be about average to get to reproduce in captivity and they don't have any interspecies enrichment but jumping over here wow they have played with it all i'm just gonna we have the ice block we have the fire horse ball we have both cardboard boxes we have the sprinkler thingy we have scratching pole we have prey scented sack we have the uh, scratching path and uh, the rotating line feeder the pinata only the zebra and the frozen blood pumpkin now let let you africa we're gonna take the female here i have no idea where she is she was swimming so she might be more shiny than intended a lot of these leopards actually change color when you put them down you saw here she was lighter and then she became darker oh and some of them i also have seen when i zoom out it appears that they change color not this one though um she seems paler than the male is that right or is that just me stay there Yes, yeah, she actually appears much lighter. I'm not sure if that's just me. Um, and her face actually also looks a little smaller. And height difference is very clearly. She don't have that big fluffy tail as some of the others do. Uh, but she is a beauty let's check the spots out and the fur again the fur here we have seen better but again it is an older mud uh, they did remember to make the hair strands with the spot which they also did on the other so you can see here the hair strands between the light and the darker part mixes though um again the fur itself we have seen better uh but the spots are very well made and i actually think this mud overall holds up very nicely and also alongside the other i can see that i think this was 300 sorry 280 i think and the others was like 309 and 350 or something like that so three of them were made very close to each other and then the last one which the name i won't try to uh, pronounce wrong again um is in the 400 so it was made later but these three were made very close um and they all hold up very very nice i'm pretty sure we had some babies somewhere we have two of them we're only gonna need the one uh, I don't have any. I um, can check here again. No, I haven't seen any panthers in them uh, though. Um, you saw the color shift, right? That's weird. But it's with all of them, actually. A lot of them. Um, here. Their eyes look a bit weird and way too big for the face. And they. In a good way, they are a little bit cartoonish, but as I said before, I like the adult to be very realistic. But the babies can have a hint of cartoonish, which makes them more cute, which I really appreciate. Uh, not too cartoonish, but this level of cartoonish is very fine for me. The texture here with the... Um, if you 
if you have a cat, you know, they also have this and it does look a tiny bit leathery, which they catch very well here. They have the whiskers, the teeth, and again the fur here. Looks very well. Um, you can especially see it here on the leg. You can't. I could. There, now you can. Uh, where it's done very well um, compared with the rest of it we have here so uh, yeah and they move also very well they both swim and they climb and they're they're so cute uh, I wish leopard was living in family groups like lions because I like building bigger habitats um, but they, at least one of these are gonna appear in Kitty House. Um, which I haven't decided which one yet, but by the time this video goes out, I probably already recorded it. But uh, feel free to tell me below it, either way which one is your favorite. And uh, are you going to use any of these leopard mods or any of these cat mods that we looked at this week? Um, and besides that, yeah, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I will hope to see you again, other than the below, or in the next video. Bye, guys!